70 years have passed since the saga of the clandestine immigrant ship, the Exodus. There is perhaps no greater symbol of the devotion of the Jewish people to their homeland than the heroic story of the ship Exodus, which in 1947 sailed from France with 4,515 survivors of the Holocaust in an attempt to break through the British naval blockade and to reach Eretz Israel. As the world looked on, Karen Hayasad, alongside Jews already in the land of Israel, banded together and took on the challenge. They launched the clandestine naval operation, codenamed Aliyah Bet, to save their brethren from the clutches of Nazi Germany and bring them to Israel. One of the girls on the Exodus was Fruma Gallant. Her experience is still etched deeply in her memory. Fruma was just a little girl when she traveled to Israel on the SS Exodus during the Ha'apala. Upon its arrival to the port of Haifa, the ship was deported back to Europe, thus making it a symbol of the many hardships Jews had to face during the time of Aliyah. <laughs> Undeterred, the overcrowded, unseaworthy vessels of Aliyah Bet continued to challenge the blockade. Young Jewish fighters, aided by non-Jewish sailors, succeeded in bringing more than 70,000 Jews home to the land of their forefathers in more than 100 vessels. Those who made it ashore were swiftly smuggled into the future Jewish state by daring activists from Karen Hayasod and elsewhere. Evading capture, the new arrivals were taken to Kibbutzim and other new communities to live as free Jews in their own land, fulfilling the dreams of countless generations before them. The story of the Exodus is one of the most notable chapters in the history of the rebirth of Israel and a remarkable symbol of Karen Hayasod's involvement in achieving it, as depicted by the story of Fruma Gallant. This is the only place you know, 